Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be sharing this new little series with you guys. I'm going to be talking about some of the songs I've released so far and basically go into detail about how I made them, how they were structured and some of the cool stuff. I'm going to be talking about Dear Admirer, Hardwired and Love Machine and it's going to be for the next three weeks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I will love you for it. So overall, Dear Admirer is made up of about five different sections uh, because you've got the intro, which is kind of made up from bits of the verse. You've got the pre-chorus idea. You've got the chorus. And then you've got the bridge, which is its own little thing. And then the outros, part one and part two, which are kind of based on the chorus. In terms of instruments, Dear Admirer is made up of and the stylophone. So that's the S1, the Gen X1, and the vintage stylophone. Blink. The bass line, which is like a sine bass line, I think. I should mention that Dear Admirer, Love Machine and Hardwired were all co-productions with a lovely guy called Jamie. Um, so some of these elements I didn't actually create myself, but I would know a little bit about them so I can talk to you guys about them. So let's get into it. So the intro is made up of vintage stylophone, piano mate and pianos all working together. Let's hear those separately. I absolutely love these um, backing vocals in the pre-chorus. So these backing vocals in the pre-chorus work as kind of a response to the lead vocal. Um, and it's a nice little way to add to that sigh feeling as well. Um, another thing I love in the pre-chorus is the strings, kind of imitating, and then you've got the pizzicato strings as well. It's kind of imitating the lead line and it's like swelled. My favourite, favourite bit is this little part, the pianos and the piano mates. Believe it or not, the piano mate part, okay, because it's on a piano, I had to record the right hand separately to the left hand. It's an old instrument, okay, and the little thingy bobbies, the little hammer thingies that go down, kept getting stuck. You've also got the lead harmony supporting the lead vocal there. Then in verse 2 you've got the vintage stylophone all on its own at the beginning, and then you've got like the little the piano mate and stylophones kind of share little part there and then the piano comes in I absolutely love how like they're all kind of building together do you hear that so that's like a little heartbeat sample something I really enjoy doing is actually creating like two three four different vocal parts and like laying them on top of each other in like a counterpointy thing and that's definitely something I did in Dear Admirer so you can hear that and the outro part two where things really start to build so there you've got the harmony part is repeating the first bit of the chorus and the lead vocal is doing a new one so it's like the original chorus part then it's like the original chorus part repeating in another part and then it's in like a third part you'll find that's definitely not the last time i'm doing it so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little video on Dear Admirer The Making Of. Um, once again, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below letting me know if you learnt anything new, anything interesting that you hadn't realised about the track. Also, if you've never heard Dear Admirer before and this is the first time you've come across it, you can still stream it, you can still watch the video, I'll leave both of those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video which will be all about hardwired.